Hi there, I'm Physics Duck. Now, there's few things in the world that I enjoy so much as just simply taking stuff apart. So that's what I'm going to do today. I have a very large, um, what is it? It is a outer drive manufacturing technical center thing. It is a programmable microprocessor based resistance welding control. And uh, it's water cooled, which is kind of cool. It's made by Medar. And it was made for Chrysler, obviously. And somebody at some point paid an obscene amount of money for this thing. It went into manufacturing, it did its thing for 20 years, and eventually went in a scrap pile somewhere, and somebody pulled it out and donated it to us. Now, one of the simple joys of being a geek is just taking stuff apart and seeing how they work. I like doing that, I've done it ever since I was a kid. And one of the cool things in doing that now is now when I do that and when you know other guys around here do that, we save the parts to be used for other projects. This is along the lines of the junk video I made the other day. So I'm going to take this apart and shoot a time lapse of it and show you just how much out of this junk piece of equipment we can salvage and use for other things. So watch and I'll show you how it works. All right, well, that's how it goes. And uh, as you can see, we've pulled a giant pile of stuff out of here. Um, I'll show you some of the things we pulled out. I got this giant contact, or this uh, big circuit breaker, which looks pretty cool. It's got some interesting ratings on it. It's, uh, it says up here, shunt trip, uh, frequency 50, 60, volts 110 to 240, amps 0 0.9 to 2.3 at 33 milliseconds so that's uh, kind of cool um i'm not really sure what its official rating is for anything else but it is a hmc it's from westinghouse it's an hmcp series c motor circuit interrupter 400 amp um, frame so yeah this will be fun to experiment with. It's got some adjustments down here. It's got a push to trip thing. So that'll be pretty cool. Let's see what else we got. Uh, some other nice toys that I saw out of here was this big current metering shunt. This is for measuring um, current in an AC circuit. Um, some very nice plugs. There's a pretty serious contactor here. It's a three phase contactor and it's good to 100 horsepower at 480, 50 horsepower at 240, it's 135 amps continuous rating, that's big enough for something like Gemini. Um, some really nice relay boards, relay sockets, um, this is DIN rail mounted terminal strips and fuse blocks, very nice resistor here, it's a big 600 ohm uh, power resistor. This nifty thing, which I'm not entirely sure just what the hell it is, but it's water cooled and it is a W slash C unit, um, which I'm guessing means water cooled, and it's a Medar part number, so I'll look into that. But it looks to be some kind of SCR or something like that. I'll look up the, uh, the numbers here, which are Semicron SKT520 slash 20E and a uh, little symbol there is uh, a diode with an extra wire so I'm guessing these are some kind of SCR or something like that. We'll see how that works. Um, but that's that's screaming big power switching and it might be useful for uh, 
uh, future version of Thumper or something like that. And then just little bits and pieces. You'll you'll note that I saved all the sand off, some screws and fuses and bolts and nuts and all that jazz. Those will all get sorted out. Um, really cool lever off the the cabinet. It's a big Allen Bradley lever. You see these on a lot of industrial enclosures, and it just looks cool. It'll it'll be for a project somewhere. I saved the little uh, faceplate board, which is just a membrane board. A couple of interesting items of note. I saved this thing, which is a keypad, and this thing, which is what appears to be a LED display of some sort, so I'll dig into that. I even saved some interesting chips off of it. They look like EEPROMs and stuff, so I'll pass those off to one of the electronics engineering guys, and they'll know what they are. Um, save some relays. We always need relays. This is just a, a standard um, ice cube relay. It's a 1.6 horsepower, 120 volts AC. Um, Give me an amp rating. It's probably a 20 amp relay, 15, 20 amp relay. It's got a little indicator light and all that standard little neon light. These are useful as hell and we never have enough of them. Um, so yeah, it's kind of cool. A really nice spring, which is either anodized or something, which is entirely possible, or it's actually made out of uh, an interesting metal like brass or copper, but I think it's just spring steel and it's anodized that color. So it's pretty though, it's nice. Um, so yeah, that's all this stuff here. I mean, there's there's a lot of money here. That was several hundred dollars. That's another few hundred bucks. That's probably like eighty, ninety dollar plug. I mean, these things are ten, fifteen bucks a piece, plus the terminal strips. There's twenty bucks. There's ten bucks. I mean, this this all adds up. This, unimaginably expensive. Um, so yeah, I mean, this, this all adds up. There's some good chunks up here. There's stuff here for vehicular sciences, for high voltage, high energy, electronics. Computer sciences, I mean, there's there's all kinds of just stuff here, and it's all useful. And, yeah, that, I mean, it took me a couple hours to tear it all down, but it was absolutely worth my time. And all these parts will be used by students and members and kids for just building stuff here at the Geek Group. So it's pretty cool. I mean, this is, it's a fun way to spend a mellow afternoon. Have fun, guys.